Hi, folks. Welcome to another conversation with PV Buzz. We are happy to welcome Tom Randall of Power Lily. For those who missed the press release, uh, Power Lily is a Canadian based technology startup that launched a web and mobile app. This app lets users display real time production data from their solar assets on interactive maps. Tom, welcome. Thank you, Derek. Glad to be here. So I've given a brief introduction of what this app is, but let's hear from you. What is the Power Lily app and what does it do? Sure. So Power Lily for homeowners allows them to uh, connect their, their end phase microinverter system uh, to the Power Lily platform and create a customizable profile page for that system that they can share with friends and family and other users on the platform uh, that'll show off the production data for the system since it was installed. Uh, also shows off a lot of other cool information uh, such as the environmental impact of that solar system and uh, other facts like that. Um, systems can be compared with each other um, with a two series bar graph. So you can uh, really do a deep dive into uh, what equipment specifics are uh, perform better than others. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's something that a lot of people find interesting to see uh, the different uh, amounts of production from systems all over the world and with uh, different characteristics such as asthma and slope and all the rest of it. Well, that's cool. So so this is um, an app and you, you consider yourself a startup, sort of. Um, do you consider yourself a startup? I suppose that's right, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm hoping to, uh, to, to make money with, with the app at some point by uh, offering certain features to solar installers to help display their their solar portfolio or solar assets uh, mm -hmm. to the public. So, as a startup, I I, I know you know most startups out there, um, and when we do your word startup, people use the startup mostly in tech, like like what you've just done here. Uh, but I'm guessing there's always uh, well, there's always a, uh, a a very interesting story with people that start startups. Right, and so was there an interesting story behind why you started this, um, this app, or just simply why did you decide to build this? Sure, yeah, um, I'm not sure it's an interesting story, but there is a story. Um, I was working with a company that was exclusively installing end phase microinverters, um, and when I came across the API uh, system from end phase. Uh, I realized the potential here for, for what could be done. Um, the company is the company I worked with likes to be extremely transparent in everything that they do. They have all of their pricing available online. And we thought it made sense to also have production data available online as well. And because the, the end phase API made this possible, I thought, why not give it a go? And uh, the, the response to it was overwhelmingly positive. Um, a lot of customers really like to see real production data for systems um, that, that maybe maybe their neighbors or maybe just in their in their local communities, and it uh, it gives them it gives them some real data to look at when uh, when determining whether or not solar is going to be a good fit for themselves. Um, it's one thing to provide an estimate for somebody on what you think a system is going to produce on their house. Yeah, it's not another thing altogether to show them real data for a similar house that's on the same street and say, look, look what this guy saved. Um, cool. So it really helps bring it home for people. So that's cool. Um, so, but how does this app work specifically for a user, either for a homeowner or for a, uh, an installer that wants to display um, this, their portfolio? So, but let's, let's start from the perspective of a, of a homeowner who just wants to, 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 to put up their system and have, uh, people come and see. So what does it look like? How does it work? Sure. So uh, there are at least two people that are going to be associated with any end phase solar system. Uh, there's going to be the owner of the system and there's going to be the installer. Um, so when you get a, an end phase system commissioned, uh, you, you log into the Enlighten account uh, and this is where you're going to be able to see this data. So if you, uh, if just the way Power Lily works is uh, just like any other website. If you try to authenticate into a website to sign up or log in and they have an option to log in with Facebook, yeah. you're authenticating through Facebook um, to, to, to log into this site. And that site uh, 
perhaps a little bit of Facebook data in order to do that. Um, so Powerly works the same way. When you sign up for an account with Powerly, you can authenticate through your end phase Enlightened account. Uh, and then a list of systems that are associated with your Enlightened account are gonna pop up. Uh, at that point, it's your choice to uh, add those systems into Powerly and then start customizing them. I'll just pull up an example of a, uh, a profile page. This is actually for my system here in Nova Scotia. Okay. Uh, I've had the system for, as you can see, 500 days now. In that time, I produced 16 megawatts, which is worth around $2,680 uh, Canadian. Uh, the graph defaults to today's production. Uh, if I look outside right now, it's pretty overcast. It's not a great day. I think uh, if I go back a few days here, I think Saturday was sunny. Let's see what Saturday looked like. Oh, uh, wow. wasn't 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 much difference. There's obviously some cloud, but throughout the day, I made a dollar fifty-five. Uh, what was Sunday? I won't spend too much time, but there we go. That's a decent day. So we did sixty kilowatt hours worth ten dollars Canadian. Uh, so of course, you can also look at a period of time, seven days. Now I have consumption monitors on my system, so I'm also tracking the consumption throughout the week. Uh, so I can see here the gray bar is is the consumption for the day, and the blue is the production. Uh, overall, I've just managed to produce a little bit more than I've consumed, uh, so my offset is at 104%. So I, I'm technically net zero uh, for the previous seven days. It gives me a net export of $2.20 banked with Nova Scotia Power. Uh, some some finer details here on the production are, um, so, you know, it, it'll show you the best day in that time period, the worst mm -hmm. day in that time period, average daily production, so average is 45 kilowatt hours per day. And then there's some more interesting stats here, kilowatt hours per kilowatt AC, kilowatt hours per kilowatt DC, and kilowatt hours per panel. This is a little bit more interesting when looking at a longer range of data. If I pull up one year, we'll see if I was net zero for the previous year. Just a moment. When you start trying to pull in that much data, it usually takes a little longer. So in the past year, I produced 15,000 kilowatt hours 2,500 bucks, and that's an 81% offset by solar. So not quite net zero for the last year, had some, a few very high usage days, uh, but all in all, pretty good. Four fifths net zero, um, <clears throat> it's nice to see. So if I scroll down a little further, <clears throat> I'll just put this back to seven days, just because everything's a little bit quicker. Uh, so lifetime production equivalent to offsetting CO2 emissions from, uh, 1,200 gallons of gasoline, 25 barrels of oil, uh, over nearly one and a half million smartphones charged. Interesting stuff. And um, so scroll also, down again. So scroll down back to those uh, environmental assets. So that's really information, uh, cool information there. I can even see um, um, the the amount of gallons of diesel. You know, even there's a there's a point one tanker truck. This is really interesting information, and you're pulling that directly from the EPA. I see the EPA down there. Exactly. So each of these little icons here will take you to um, a, a how this is calculated, and it's okay. on the EPA.gov website. And um, it, it's a very simple calculation. If you know the number of kilowatt hours you're offsetting, um, it, it, you, you can grab all of these figures quite easily. But it is interesting to see this. Um, I think it, it it's it's very shareable information. Um, you know. I, which is one of the reasons why Power Lily is, I think, such a cool um, platform for people to be able to share this kind of stuff. I mean, people are taking pictures of their lunch and sharing it. Um, I think this kind of information is pretty cool as well uh, in, in, with regards to sharing. Um, at the bottom here, we've got uh, a, a filter here so we can look at systems that are similar based on the inverter type, the panel type, or the country. Yeah. Um, so if we went panel type, it's going to pull up systems that also have LG panels. If I pull up inverter type, it's just going to be uh, Enphase IQ7 Plus inverters and uh, and so forth. And I really like the layout. It's like I'm a you know sucker for um, clean, very clean, seamless, and and smooth round cornered <laughs> layouts. Um, and this really really hits. It checks every uh, box for me. Um, um, it's it's really interesting. Um, and so this interface, so this is this the public facing interface that a homeowner sees or anybody sees when they look at a specific system? 
Yeah. So this is what um, this is what the homeowner is going to have when they're looking at their at their individual system. Um, you can like systems, you can comment on systems, you can favorite them so that you can find them more easily later. Um, you can easily share links to the system. Um, so some of the customizable things here on a page like this are going to be the description and the title. Yeah. Uh, so this can all be edited by the, the owner. So the owner of the system has uh, exclusive privileges for making alterations. I mentioned earlier that the installer would also have access to the system because they're associated with it. Uh, the installer can make some alterations, but it'll default to whatever the owner has put if both are if both are there. Um, so other other information you can put in here is details about the arrays. Uh, so for example, my array is very simple. It's just one it's just one uh, block of panels facing in one direction. Obviously, a lot of solar systems are more complicated than this, um, but you can put that information in. So 32 panels at a 130 degree azimuth and a 25 degree slope. And then this is a PV watts prediction of what that array is gonna produce each month of the year. Um, so of course, this would be the same kind of predictive API that is used with tools like SolarGraph and Aurora uh, that are used to, to, to create proposals for, for homeowners when they're deciding to go solar. This is the same thing right here. And it's kind of cool to see how this matches up with the real data. Um, and, and then, of course, how, you know, how much of an impact a certain degree of slope has on the production of a system. These are, yeah. these are hotly debated things in the solar industry, and it's, it's neat to have this information available for people. Um, and PV so, watts there, what is PV watts though? Because uh, I understand PV watts is uh, also um, an entity that provides data for... That's right. So um, the PV, is, is it the, the, the US uh, PV watts that we know? It is. So it's, it's, it's from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Uh, the PV Watts is a, a, a tool along with an, an API data set that's set up um, that allows you to make predictions about what a system will produce based on certain characteristics. So the important characteristics are basically the, 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 the size of the system, kilowatts DC, the location of the system, and it'll use historical weather data from the closest Air Force Base um, to get the weather data. Um, and then it's, it's going to be interested in the slope of the roof and the, the azimuth. And using those details, you can pump out a prediction for what that system's going to produce. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, some other cool things you can customize here are the colors. Because you can, um, I'll pull up another system here that I can compare to. That way, uh, that way you'll see that. So I'll just grab a system that's in my favorites. This is a ground mount system down in Arkansas. And it looks like it hasn't come to life today yet. We might actually, oh, there we go. So we also have, uh, we also have error um, messages through the Enphase API. So his system hasn't been reporting for, well, at least seven days. So we'll have to find a different one. He needs to call his, uh, his installer. So that's also another <laughs> use for this where it can inform the homeowner, you know, if, if, uh, because maybe the, the interface interface might be highly technical, but this is an easy, seamless um, way to look at things, right? Um, it oh, looks yeah. like a, a Facebook profile for solar installers. <laughs> right? that's, that's one way to, to, to call it. Yeah, let's find another system in the U.S. So we'll just filter by country here. Um, oh, here's another ground mount. Let's take a look at this. John Cassidy, New Hampshire. This system is operational. So if I go to seven days, uh, the other thing I wanted to point out here is that um, all currency conversions are available here. So of course, he's made 28 megawatts, which is worth $3,400 US. We want to know what he's paying. So he's paying 12 cents per kilowatt hour US, right, to get this figure. But also, how does that convert to Canadian? Uh, mm -hmm. So that's actually $4,100 Canadian. Um, and I'm seeing that because, of course, I'm here in Canada, and that's what I have my currency set to. So I can look at that for each of these. The production on his best day was 92 kilowatt hours, $11 US, which is $13.26 Canadian. And that is very um, smooth. I like how smooth that is. Yeah. Uh, and, and we've got one system in India. So rupees are, are set up. Uh, and there's a system in Malta. I think they use euros. So um, these systems are worldwide? Yeah, uh, I'll pull up that page in a moment. Uh, so here, this is exactly what I, what I wanted to point out. So when you're looking at a system and doing a comparison, um, 
got two graphs here, but we both selected the same color. So that's why I wanted to make it very easy to change your color for your profile. So if I click on say this color, now the series for my system, which is the second series, is going to show up orange. So now we can we can we can clearly see the differences here. Um, so it looks like his system has outproduced mine on almost every uh, metric here. Production on best day, 92 versus 73. Production on worst day was actually around the same, nine kilowatt hours. And average daily production, he's in 60, I'm at 45. So this is a, a better performing system, even though it has fewer panels. He's got 30 uh, IQ 7X and 30 320 watt panels as compared to my 32 410 watt panels. Um, so it's interesting. This uh, is some interesting uh, stuff. It's like comparing... The other, other way of comparing two systems is having the information on paper or on a spreadsheet or something in front of you. But here we are comparing, like we're trying to add two products, like you're trying to shop on Best Buy and you're adding, you're putting two PCs together and you're comparing them side by side, right? This is, mm -hmm. this is interesting. Um, I'm glad you think so. I, I, I mean, there's a lot of... Yeah, it uh, is. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there who, who get really quite nerdy about uh, solar production data. And I think that this is, I, well, I've, I've met a few of them and they, and they do like this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I would imagine that this system would produce better at being a ground mount. It looks to be adjustable. Um, you actually know something that would be cool is actually take two systems, two pan different panels, like maybe the Panasonic and the, 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 uh, the, the Hanwas, the same number of panels, the same uh, generation, and then compare their production data over a year. Exactly. Yeah. All that this would be interesting to look at. I agree. All the same. I mean, needs. considering the same location and exposure, sun exposure, and yeah. and everything like that, right? Environmental uh, uh, dynamics. But it's it's really cool. Those two systems exist out in the world, and if they uh, got logged into Power Lily, then it would be it would be possible to, to make that comparison. Um, so the other neat thing here is that there is a leaderboard set up uh, across three metrics. So total production leaderboard, uh, twenty eight megawatts is good, but it's not that good. He's uh, he's been in operation for a couple of years. Some systems on here are closing in on ten years of production, so they're much higher on that leaderboard. Um, the second one here, he's number 32 for the last seven days production leaderboard. So that rules out um, how long the system has been op in, in operation as an unfair uh, kind of variable. So it's just looking at the past seven days and, and which systems produce the most. So fairly high on the leaderboard for that, but very high for past seven days efficiency leaderboard position. So what that is, is kilowatt hours per kilowatt DC. Uh, for the past seven days. And at 39 kilowatt hours per kilowatt DC, that's really good. Uh, he's in the top 10 out of nearly 500 systems on this platform, uh, which is great to see. So this um, is cool um, information. So, but this is all awesome for a homeowner and for an installer to install for the homeowner front, front facing side. So I also understand you can display the, 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 the systems on a map, which is more useful for an installer. Can we see a little bit about that? How an installer can display and um, can display a portfolio on a portfolio page, for example. Um, um, and I understand when I was looking at your website, I saw there was a map with points on on this system, so you can actually click and then you can zoom in like this. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. are you seeing this now? Yep. So this is the map. Uh, it's built on the Paralily platform, and it, it exists on. Uh, Dot what's up solar dot ca. So this is uh, this is the the installer company that's been using this. Okay. Um, so this this would be what we call an interactive uh, live data portfolio. So there are um, quite a few systems here all throughout Nova Scotia. You can kind of see our um, our uh, range of of, of where, where they work. So if we go into HRM here, this is the the Halifax, the main city in Nova Scotia. You can click on any of these systems and uh, you see we've got a big cluster of systems down here. Lots that are all just close together. And if I click on one of these, we're going to get to see a lot of the data that we just saw on that profile page, uh, but in a more simplistic, simplistic way, because we're looking at, because we're on a page with 500 systems on it. Um, we, we you don't, don't need to pull to too much data. Yeah. yeah. 
So what we can see is just the good stuff. So we know when it was installed, December 11th, 2018, giving it 882 days of production, around two years. You know, its, it's status is normal. This would, uh, this would be red and it would tell me if there was a problem, which is useful for installers to know uh, and, and also for homeowners. Um, so we've got the leaderboard here again. So total production, 30th, 37th for last week. This is a pretty big system, does very well, and efficiency is a little lower, but still good out of, out of you know, nearly 500. So we've got the equipment type, panels, inverters, a little bit of uh, just a small snippet of environmental impact information here, just three uh, key measures, and I'll link to the EPA again. Yeah. Uh, what it's produced today, some weather data, and, uh, and of course, a series here of the last 30 days of production. And we can, of course, change this. We can uh, see what it produced in January, for So example. the same basic things like the other. So now, but can you close this for a second? So let's go back to the map. So this map, can you blow back? Yeah, so this map, for example, this is what the, the installer can embed on their website. That's right, yeah. So and this basically acts like a portfolio page because, I mean, look at all these dots. This just gives a uh, a bird's eye view on the number of systems this company has installed. This, what well, I'll tell you, what it's done for what's up is, you know, a common a common uh, question that solar companies get is, well, do you have any references? Do you have any reviews? How many systems have you installed? Are you really competent? Can I trust you uh, to install thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment on my roof and for there not to be any problems? And I, I find that when people see this map, it answers a lot of those questions for them. They can see that uh, this company is obviously very experienced. Um, the map, because you can click on any of these systems and see that the system is live and that it's working, um, it shows that the company maintains these systems and takes care of them. Uh, they wouldn't make this, this data publicly available if they had anything to hide or if they weren't, uh, if they weren't you know, performing the necessary maintenance, which as we know, isn't much in the solar industry. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's some other cool features that are kind of built in here. I can actually pull up my system again here. Uh, it was installed by, by WhatsApp. Just have to find where I am here. That's it. That's not it. I'm in the wrong place. This is me here. So, uh, it also works a little bit like a client portal. So if, um, if the, the owner of the system uh, has enabled questions on, on their dashboard, the back end of the site, uh, you can actually message them directly and uh, ask oh. them questions about, about the process and what it was like to go solar with this company and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, so wait, sorry, who can message them? Like, the, like I can just go in there and message them and you, ask you, questions directly you exactly you could just pull this up and say hi tom mm -hmm. i was looking at your system it seems very similar to what my house is uh how was your process with whatsapp uh how long did it take them to install whatever you want to say and uh it, it, it kind of keeps you know it, it, it's well it's it's the best way to ask for uh a reference yeah reference. yeah yeah you not know, just without it's even beyond that it's it's also a way to check um because i also see a lot of uh sometimes homeowners will actually reach out to me and ask about companies. And I'm like, no, we, we have no business dealings with that company, like, like in, in that right. way. So there's no way of knowing. Um, and, and this also helps, you know, um, I know there are reviews that can be posted online, but this is also a direct way of a, one homeowner can speak to another homeowner, homeowner to homeowner. Right. Um, and if the installer is, is, does everything, you know, dots every I and crosses every T, um, of course, the, 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 the homeowner would be satisfied, right? And would give a positive feedback mm. um, directly to another homeowner. Interesting. Here's an example here, but this is an older system. It's been around for three years. Uh, the customer has left a review. So the review is on Google and it's available to be, to be read here. Um, so it so scripts this... the, the reviews from Google too and displays them here? Yes, that's right. Uh, and also you can message the owner of this one as well. Um, so that like... What, what Powerly, again, can do is if you look at any solar company website in the world, most of them are going to have a page that says our work, or portfolio or gallery or something like that. And it's just going to yeah. be pictures of systems um, that they've managed to usually keep up with it for maybe a year. And you'll see a few systems on there. Very rarely do they keep up with it for, for the duration of, their, uh, of all of their business. 
Um, but with something like this, it gives you a real incentive to keep it uh, up to date. So we, when we commission a new system, it goes on it goes on the map right away because, uh, of course, it adds to our to our whole uh, our whole portfolio here that, that, that's helping us sell so many systems when people see this. So also, you know, usually you'll see a second page for reviews where they'll they'll show off testimonials. Well, this has that all built in as well. So you could view all the systems that have reviews. You can message the, the owner and say, is that a real review? Did you really write that or whatever you want to say? Um, this system does very well. He's actually second for total production leaderboard position. It's this large system uh, that's been around for three years. So mm -hmm. uh, we can kind of see that. So this, cool. this is, is the built-in leaderboard for the portfolio page as well. Um, if I look up last week's uh, total product, uh, highest production, it's going to be this system here, which is a, a 100 kilowatt system down on Cape Sable Island, uh, which does really, really well. He's had days of close to a megawatt, almost a megawatt of production in one day, uh, which is really, really cool. There we go. I, I definitely uh, used up too much time. So, yeah, so all this stuff and all this stuff is available on the the Power Lady app website, you know, um, uh, any of the, the audience, anybody um, watching this can always go there and we're going to leave a link um, probably somewhere on this page where you can always go there and, and play with it. But um, maybe we can exit the presentation because there's some other questions I wanted us to touch before we, we run out of time. Um, so, yes, we've seen all these systems and all these systems are, um, they have one thing in common. They're all N-phase systems. Now the question is why uh, um, why N phase um, and would would it work would this app Power Lady app work with other inverter brands? Uh, yeah, that that's perhaps the most common question that I get. Um, a lot of a lot of installers see this and they get very excited, and then it turns out that they only install Solar Edge or Growatt or <laughs> something else. And I have to disappoint them and say that I'm afraid that uh, Growatt. Um, never bothered to develop uh, an API system that can be used um, to, to this extent. So, you know, there are inverter brands that have an API set up, uh, but it wasn't set up to accomplish something quite like this, whereas Enphase was. Enphase doesn't limit you for the amount of calls that you wanna make. Um, Enphase made it possible to, to set up a platform like this. Whereas, for example, Solar Edge does have an API, but you're hard limited to I think it's 300 calls uh, per, per per project per site um, per day, which 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 it just it wouldn't be usable. Um, I'd like to see more inverter companies open up uh, or have an API similar to Enphase uh, that, that would allow for this, and then we could really get the the site bustling with information. Um, by being able to compare solar edge to end phase, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the final showdown of microinverters versus string inverters, <laughs> <laughs> we could actually have the data, you know. Um, so but, talking about installers though, um, what, what is the case for installers to use this app? So if you were to have an installer, so say I'm an, I'm, in, I'm an installer, for example, and I'm looking at this, what do, what, because um, from what I understand, um, it is free, the, the, uh, the, platform is free for homeowners yes but um it's also free so there's like a free tier for installers and then there's a paid version but so why would uh, uh, uh an installer use the paid version or the, so just uh, take a moment and explain walk us through that sure uh so so the benefit to to installers is is 100 percent sales um it, it, this this is a sales tool uh, being able to, to just like a just like an Instagram page is a sales tool. This is a sales tool as well. You're you're not just showing pictures of your systems. You're you're putting all your reviews in one place. You're putting the production in one place. It becomes the the page on your website where people spend the most time. You know they're they're going to read the other pages and stuff. But when they find this on your website, they're going to spend the next couple of hours on there doing their own research. Um, and it's 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 going to compel them to, to to choose you as as their installer because. This isn't available anywhere else, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so, so yeah, the site is free to use for homeowners. You can log your system in. Um, if you want to have a portfolio page like this set up, where all your data is aggregated um, and you can show show all of it in one place, you can have up to ten systems for free. Um, and if you want to go higher than that, if you want to have unlimited systems, then there is a paid subscription uh, for that, which helps cover the cost of, of the API calls on, on, on my side of things. Um, 
So there's some other features there that, you know, once, you, once you're on a paid plan, uh, that's when uh, you have possibility of actually embedding the, the map into your, own, into your own site. So for just 10 systems, you've got a customizable page. You can put your logo, you can customize the links uh, and the footer and all that stuff. It'll look like a page on your website. But if you want the embed code to just to embed it right into your, your WordPress site or your Wix site or whatever it is, um, then you've got to be on a paid plan in order to, in order to do that. Uh, and there's various other features as well that you can, you can see when you go to uh, powerlily.io slash installer benefits. Awesome. Um, so now this is good. This is great. And I do see some potential, um, actually a lot of potential on how this can help actually with, with solar adoption. But um, back to you, like, what what is your vision for this for the future of this app like where do you see this app you know taking the industry um and and again with regards to to to, to solar adoption yeah um i think this helps i you know it's it's amazing to me that it hasn't been done before really that it, it's hard to find pv production oh, believe it is it is amazing Real data that's out there. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, so you don't see a lot of it. And it's so important because it demystifies everything. Uh, you know, believe it or not, there are still plenty of naysayers, especially here in Canada. And they'll say, oh, we're in the northern hemisphere. This is not where you put solar panels. You won't even charge a light bulb with that. And uh, and they're, of course, they're wrong. Um, but they don't see it as a good investment. They think they think it can't possibly be a good investment. Um, and, and this dispels all of that. When, when you look at these, you've got 10 years of data for a 10 year old system and you see that it's made, you know, $35,000, you can see, oh, it really, it's making money now. It's paid for itself. And now, and now the owner is, is into the gravy. And, um, you know, so, so that having this real data there is going to dispel a lot of the, uh, the mystification around solar and about what, whether or not it's a good thing. And, um, and yeah, that's definitely going to drive solar adoption. And you just actually mentioned something. You just quickly brushed through it. But I think it's very important, the fact that you can, because the end phase starts, this API information starts being recorded in the end phase system when the in system is turned on. So even if the homeowner signs up today, it will still pull back the historical data. So okay. you can still always see when they actually, uh, um, the system paid for itself. And this, the, the, the homeowner is now just generating free power, right, right. With, with the system. So instead of like having homeowners like mine project when, you know, you tell them, oh, it's going to pay itself in eight years and 10 years, they, they, they have to believe you. You, mm -hmm. now you have a proof. You can actually pull their neighbor's system or the system down the street or from the, the you know, the city over and say, hey, look, this homeowner, this is when exactly when the, the you know, the system paid for itself. And then they are now. Um, I'm getting free juice, right? That's it's, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, all the data would be there. You know, I, I find it funny. Uh, the, the local Ikea in Halifax has a huge solar system uh, on the roof and it's all behind the meter. So it's not, it's not a net metered system. Um, but I'd like to know what it's producing. I think it's great that they've got solar panels up there, but that's not enough for me. I want to know what it's producing for all the, 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 the public know it hasn't worked this entire time. Maybe they never plugged it in. Like we would never know. We would think, oh, that's great. Ikea is going green, but um, nothing is happening. How do, how do we know? <laughs> Maybe half of the systems are red. Nothing's going on there. Well, that's it, right? I, if I was, if I owned that Ikea, I would have a huge monitor in the lobby where you can view the production of what, what that system's making right now. I think people would find that interesting. Um, I certainly would. I'd walk up to it. And um, I think a lot of other people would as well. Well, Tom, it's been great having you. I wish we had more time to play with the the Power Lily app, but uh, I think everybody can 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 go check it up online. Um, it's really been great talking to you, and I really uh, hope this this catches on and people um, um, sign up and and at least just to test drive it. You know, chat. You know, share systems, compare systems, um, and uh, it's really been great. And thank you for taking the time to to join us today. Of course, yeah. Thank you, Derek. All right. Ciao.